Since its 1989 debut, The Simpsons has become the longest-running American animated series ever. Go, 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 go! Now heading into its 35th season, it's just as iconic. Now you know what to do. Showrunner and executive producer Matt Selman has been part of the hit show for 26 seasons. <laughs> And the writer behind some classic episodes. Large, can we trade? We don't trust these guys. We've got to get home before someone sees us. Oh, you little stuff. The six-time Emmy Award winner has been enjoying a break in New Zealand after the writer's strikes brought production to a halt. Please welcome Matt Salmon back. Hi. Hi. You're already likable. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, people whose names I've already forgotten. <laughs> um, okay, let's get straight to it. Favourite Simpsons character of all time? Homer Simpson. Oh. He's, yeah. he's the straw that stirs the drink, guys. <laughs> yeah, he is. Everyone loves Homer. He's oh. the funnest. I was just watching that clip. He, how often does he say doll these days? I think he still says it a lot. I mean, it's, if you don't know what to write... You've got a dough there to get you out of the situation. Ah, <laughs> yeah. that's handy. I identify with them. Hey, uh, w <laughs> welcome to New Zealand. Um, Thank you. Have we influenced you? We're going to see some kiwiness in upcoming episodes, like our service station pie or something like that? Well, I ate a ferry pie today. Did you? On Hi. the ferry to Waikiki. Yep. Yeah. It was, I give it a B plus. Oh, <laughs> really? We'll mm -hmm. take it. Mm -hmm. Just a mention. But the big influence... Right now is that we have Peter Jackson is going to be on the show. Really? And I believe there's an exclusive clip of that. You're going to give us a preview. See it or I don't know. They, you, oh, my yes, God. It's there. Yeah. That is there it so is. cool. Right. There it is. So no one else on Earth outside this of the Simpsons the, the, production this is, has seen this. This is breaking news, my friends. <laughs> We've got the time codes and even, everything. Yep. Yeah. Even bigger than your, your election, which is already making me anxious, even though I know nothing about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. I mean, we love to see a Kiwi on the world stage, and there's something about having them turn into a Simpson that's just like top tier. But what made you come out here? I mean, a lot of people in Hollywood have been out of work for a while. Why were you like, you know, New Zealand would be good for a little holiday? I knew if I left on holiday, the strike would end, that I would look terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so as soon as the strike ended and we had the authority to go back to work, I started working Los Angeles hours here, so I'd wake up at four in the morning, do like an, a day of work wow. here, and then do the rest of the day of fun, delicious sightseeing and walking around and eating and That's having an amazing good. time. You could stay here and do it for the rest of your life. Yes, it would be tiring. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I, my wife would like it. I know I have to come back here. She will love it. <laughs> Among the many things you've done uh, is uh, co-write the Simpsons movie. Yes. I have to ask you about Spider Pig. Yeah. Did you know how no. big Spider Pig was going to be? Still surprised. Don't quite get it. <laughs> <laughs> but people love him. Yes. Um, the Simpsons seem to have predicted future events, like at least 30 times. Super Bowls, uh, smartwatches, Trump becoming president. Yeah. Do you guys know something that we don't know? Well, we know, like, the past. <laughs> so if you study that, you can really get a good handle on what... And then you just always sort of think, well, what's the worst that could happen? And uh, <laughs> infer what you will from that uh, American presidential politics. <laughs> it's so accurately, it's so well observed, like, even, you know, the times you've done TV presenters. Like, I laugh at it, but I'm like... He's having a go at me. Yeah. <laughs> but Bre breakfast radio DJs. Oh, breakfast radio. I've done yeah. that, and it's so well done. <laughs> it's just, that's the life you've lived, I guess. That's where you harvest your material. I mean, wouldn't it be a, a, a bigger coincidence if we never predicted anything? Yeah. <laughs> right? True. With 750 episodes, you're bound to get a few things right. Yeah. OK, here's a little quiz for you. OK. Aside from Peter Jackson, what New Zealanders have appeared on The Simpsons? OK, so Ooh. we have the Flight of the Concords, yes. Brett and Jermaine. Yeah. yeah. We have Reese Darby, who I literally saw today in the car on the way here. <laughs> so on the streets of Auckland. I 100% was him. Yeah. No doubt. And, uh... You want me to help you out? Yeah. Lucy Lawless. Lucy Lawless, of course. Sam Neill. Sam Neill. Very good. Anyone else? I, oh, that's, I think that's it. I think that's it. That's I mean, Brett good. is... In addition to being in the show, he's been our unofficial in-house songwriter and has written three or four big songs for us. I mean, one that Benedict Cumberbatch sang, yeah. one that uh, Lizzo sang. So Brett is really... Come, he came through for us. In but a he way. still can't beat Spider Pig. Please thank from The Simpsons, Matt Selman! <laughs>